Hello and welcome to another edition of Inside Outlook. I'm Tony Trongone, Superintendent of Pemberton Township Schools. And today we're gonna to visit some of our vocational classrooms at our high school. Here at Pemberton Township High School, we take great pride in our comprehensive course offerings that prepare our students for college, including honors and AP classes, medical arts and engineering courses, and extensive music and arts courses. But as you know, not everyone graduates high school and goes immediately on to college. And we wanna make sure we prepare those students for a successful experience after high school as well. Our school to career program provides students with cooperative education opportunities and scholarships, as well as helping to prepare them for the workplace. In addition, we have several professional level classes that educate students in a specific vocation, and we're going to take a look now at a few of those courses today. Whether it's culinary arts, auto mechanics, commercial baking, or horticulture, here at Pemberton, students are learning the skills they need to enter a competitive workforce. Now please join me as we go inside and see what our students are cooking up. All right, so our next step where we're going to put our margarine chai in, we're going to go back here to this mixer. Okay. All right, follow these guys. And you can show uh, the superintendent how to clean our hands afterwards. So you're going to look through here. We're going to start. There's somebody on the other side to catch a pan. So this one slows down the machine. You see how fast it's coming out? All right, so we're going to. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna speed this up, catch the tray. Uh. There we go. Tell me a little bit about this bakery class and uh, your experience be, uh, being in the class. Being in this class has changed me a lot because it taught me how to do stuff and prepare stuff correctly and also give me experience about um, some future reference for college. Okay, so uh, looking at Pemberton High School and beyond, what, what is this class preparing for? You're looking to go maybe into culinary arts? Yes. Okay, like what type of school? Um, I would say, like, because I know some of them have uh, culinary, like Rutgers and Scranton, pretty much. That's awesome. Um, how, what connections do you have to this bakery to the rest of your day here in regards to what you see and in, in regards to other classes that you take here? Um, well, like, for me, I would say, for the reference, it'd be, you know, making sure I can, you know, get through the full day of, uh, you know, nobody coming up to me and say, hey, give me a cookie, you know. Oh, uh, so, so they like your products that you make here then, right? Yes, big time. Okay. And then what about, like, uh, if, are you, when you're making it, so a lot of thought goes into making sure it's going to be tasting pretty good? Pretty much, yes. Yeah. What's your favorite product that you make here? I would say the brownies. Oh, okay, the brownies. Um, Caitlin, I want to say thank you very much. Is there anything else to add? I would say pretty much no, except that I love the school and I love the baking and also I love my family. All right. Thanks again, Caitlin. Thank you. What type of responsibility do you think in this class that you have that you might not have in other classes? Um, leadership, um, staying clean and being respectful. And what about the product going out to, the product that you make going out to your, your peers in the school? It's good. Mr. Trangone here with legendary bakery teacher, Mr. Rudy Zotter. How you doing, Mr. Zotter? I'm doing fantastic. Uh, thank you for having me here today. I learned a lot. And uh, I, I learned more than I thought was going on in this class. But can you tell me the three major facets that you think kids pick up from att attending your class? Uh, they're learning how to make a product from scratch. They're learning um, how to uh, work in a commercial bakery. Uh, they're understanding how to uh, mix a product uh, that is made in a commercial setting in a, a commercial industry on the outside. Uh, they could leave this bakery course and they can actually get a job in a commercial bakery uh, after Pemberton High School. Okay. Why do you think this class is so popular? Well, uh, it's so popular because uh, their peers on the outside are seeing a the product they're making and uh, everybody wants to sample something that, that they're making here at Pemberton. And I noticed in, in your walls, there's a lot of accomplishments here. 
What are you trying to convey to the students about the bakery program here at Pemberton with all these awards? Uh, we have a fantastic program here at Pemberton. Um, uh, I've been a baker here for 17 years and I've been a baker actually for 40 years. I started out 10 years old at uh, a bakery in Philadelphia and I learned a lot throughout the years and I'm passing it on to our students here at Pemberton. And th that product that they're learning, they can take the knowledge that I'm passing on to them and go anywhere and get a job after they leave here. So there, so do you know the, the data as far as how many kids you think go to the culinary arts post-secondary? I would say at least two-thirds of our students move on to Burlington County College at the uh, Mount Holly Center, or they'll go to the restaurant school at Walnut Hill or the Art Institute of Philadelphia or Johnson & Wells. We actually have uh, accredited programs where our students receive college credits uh, from Burlington County College or the Art Institute of Philadelphia or the uh, Restaurant School of Walnut Hill. Uh, that's very impressive, Mr. Zotter, and I can't help but uh, be, say that I'm very impressed and uh, astounded of, of what the output that this the, the bakery makes even for the school uh, and how we benefit at, of your leadership and leading the kids. And, and I, to me, my, my impression, as the kids are engaged and they like being here, and that says a lot about you and, and then the motivation you instill in them to do the best they can do. I want to say thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Right. Douglas Fur, make sure the dark green is up. So how many of these? Try not Did to cut that? the tips off. So uh, cut, let's see, that yeah, long? Yeah. Can you grab it again like we were doing? Okay. How you doing? Uh, Tony Trangone here in uh, Miss Favaris's floral design class, we're making Reeves. I have Avery, I have Samantha, and I have Mary. Say hello, ladies. Hi. And we're making Reeves here, and uh, I'm having a ball. So today, we're almost done. What do you think? Almost there, we have like, how many more left, Sam? Just one more. Just, just one more? Yep, just one. Okay, so what we're doing, we're cutting out even amounts of different types of, uh, of uh, reef material. And we're about to finish our reef, and we've been having some excellent teamwork. And uh, I gotta ask you a question, Sam. Yes. Have you done this before? Yes. Okay. And I wanna say also thank you for helping me. Oh, yeah. It's been a pleasure, and Mary, I think we've been a pretty good team so I far. Think we did. I've been cutting them up, trying to make sure I have equal amounts of uh, different types. <laughs> That's right. But there's also a knack to this in regards to how you place it all together. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, And then Mary has that perfect. Wrap, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> wrap, the perfect wrap. <laughs> and then uh, we have Avery here. She's a little quiet. She's just feverishly working on her own reef here. You see she's making more of her product to go around her reef. But um, this is one of your classes during the day. I got to ask you, do you look forward to this class? Yes. yes. Yeah? Every day. Every, okay. Yeah. This Literally. is our class that we look forward to. <laughs> and, uh, and then how about as far as uh, after high school? You think you, this is a course that would look that you would be involved in maybe as a career? I would, going in? I would take I it. I would, I would take it. Yeah? yeah. 100. <laughs> I would take it, I would take it. I, I noticed that people actually in the, in the teachers and the students buy all the stuff that's made in this class. Yes. Yeah. So uh, what's that like to see your work around the schools? Very exciting, it's knowing that we made it. It's like, like they very, have it. Yeah, like, wow, you guys like our stuff? <laughs> like, wow. How about yeah. responsibility too? I guess you're like kind of nervous. You want to make sure it's good, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And so, um, as far as different things besides reefs, what are other things you do besides reefs? Um, for Thanksgiving, we had actually made. Um, Oh, the, yeah, the centerpiece. Ah, uh, with really the candle good. in the middle yes. too. Okay, I got you. Yeah, we have, we and have then candles. for Halloween, we made a pumpkin. Yeah, we had flowers we had in it, it, and we had to carve it out. We got to eat the pumpkin seeds. Yeah, <laughs> it was really nice. Good stuff. So, Sam, where are we at now? We, we got all. I'm slacking off here at this last second because I was I was helping with Anyhow. making it all. So you're, what are you doing now, Sam? I'm putting them together so with our routine. So that's okay. what we're doing. So you're alternating one and the other. Yeah. What kind is this? This is the white pine. Right. And this is this is the. This was the pine and strollers. Yeah, pine and strollers. Okay. Jessica, can you tell me your, your full name and your grade level? 
I'm Jessica Lekorjic, and I'm in my sophomore year. Oh, great, great. Um, Jessica, tell me some of the things you've done, because uh, this is your first year in this, this program? Yes. What are some things you've made so far uh, in this class? Um, we've learned how to make corsages, boutonnieres, uh, centerpieces for Thanksgiving and Halloween. Um, and a lot of this does go to uh, Girl Scouts and other organizations. Okay. I noticed, like, corsages. Is that r related to maybe the homecoming dance, or are the people buy them from you? or? Um, yes, yeah, some people do buy them. Um, yeah, just <laughs> what about Halloween? Uh, we have centerpieces uh, made out of a pumpkin. Okay. And it'll, yeah, this. Okay, and then how about Thanksgiving? Another centerpiece we also make with candles and other autumn related uh, floral things. Okay. Yeah. And then we're, now we're making reefs, right? So is, where, where are these going to go? Um, some will go to, um, I'm not sure which organization, uh, I'll have to ask Mrs. V, and some will take home. Okay, great. Um, you're a National Honor Society, right? So congratulations. Oh, thank you. So uh, this this class and how it fits into your future, uh, what are your thoughts on that, uh, Being taking part in a class like this? Um, well, I've always wanted to have a hands-on class, and having a lot of demanding classes, I didn't really have um, a lot of room for something like this, but I've made it a priority to take something where I could just appreciate plants and other floral things. Okay, good. Uh, that, that demanding class. So tell me a little bit more about your demanding classes. Um, well, freshman year I took AP Physics, and this year I'm currently taking AP Chem. Uh, I'm also in ASEM and Medical Academies, and <laughs> that's quite a bit, uh, especially with uh, engineering and other classes such as that. Okay. That's tremendous. What about as far as taking more classes like this uh, in this program? Are you, are you looking forward to partaking in more classes like this? Um, I'm looking into environmental science, but I'm not positive if I'll take it. But. Okay. What's, what's, why are you hesitant? You want to know more about what's going on with environmental science? Um, I have an appreciation for so many classes in this school that it's hard to pick so little, especially in our, with our, our schedules. And stuff. That's interesting. What do you mean by that? Um, well, in my future, I'd like to be a wildlife veterinarian or a biomedical engineer, and with that, um, to look appealing to colleges, I need to take a lot of sciences and maths. But that also um, lets me not have the opportunity to take as many like art classes or auto mechanics or baking. So okay. it's all about prioritizing. Gotcha. All right, Jessica. Well, I want to uh, thank you for your time, and uh, I'm going to let you go back to completing your uh, your uh, reef. Thank you. Right. Why did you take this class? Um, I thought it would be easy, but it wasn't. It was actually a challenge, and I'm really excited for it. Actually, we do a lot of stuff with flowers and. I learned a lot about flowers. I thought they were just something pretty to look at, but they're very interesting, actually. Okay. And what's some product that you made here? Anything you've gotten to take home? Uh, yeah, yeah. I made a corsage for my girlfriend for the homecoming dance. Um, we made centerpieces for Thanksgiving, which was fun. We made them out of pumpkins, which was cool. Um, a lot of just other stuff that you can just take home, give to your mom or something, you know. So what did your mom say when you came home with that uh, arrangement? She didn't believe I made it. No, it was too pretty, too pretty for someone like me to make it. <laughs> Why? What, what, so there's an inner artistic uh, soul in, inside of Matt? Yeah, yeah, actually. I, I'm in uh, the AP art program we have here at the school, but I got these big meat hooks, and she didn't think I could handle something delicate like a flower. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. And, and, it's, and, and I do wonder, and because I'm a, obviously I'm a little older, mm -hmm. so I don't know whether many boys would take floral design, but, mm -hmm. you know, like you said, you, you did tell me a little bit, but being a, a male in a, in, a, in a typically female type of class with floral mm -hmm. design, tell me uh, more about that. Um, there's lots of pretty girls, so that's cool, you know, when you're one of the few guys that you got better chances, am I right? Um, no, I just thought it was going to be interesting, and it, and it was. You learn a lot in this class. Good, good, Matt. Well, Matt, I want to thank you. Oh, thank you. And you have a happy holiday season. You too, sir. You too. You're going to twist it, pull it like this. Wow, very good, very good. You want to do the other one? I'm going to try. Okay, make sure it's even across. Okay. And the thing is, did you go into the thing here, or yeah, just... Nope. Just bring it around. So take about maybe like right there. Go ahead. Nope. Go keep these together. <laughs> Make sure these oh, go... go all the way around. I yep. got you. And I've gotten a pretty good idea about the, the reef making, the corsages, the centerpieces. 
But uh, I, I need to know more about the, the, your program. Can you elaborate more about your program? Sure, absolutely. We have three classes in the Ag Science program. We have Environmental Science, Intro to Agriculture, and Intro to Horticulture. And all three of them give the students practical experience within the field and gives them the skills needed that they can enter any entry-level position within uh, the agriculture or horticulture field. So they get hands-on experience. Um, we go outside. They actually are able to identify plant material, but then also uh, do a little bit of landscape design and utilize that information into implementing a uh, landscape design that would be suitable for a particular need. Uh, that is very fitting for this part of the, the state. Um, have you worked with other businesses in the Burlington County area with the kids, with the, with the businesses? Absolutely. We actually uh, have three uh, students employed at this time for the holiday work in some of the local florists and garden centers. So the students are learning skills and they are able to be put out in the workforce and earn a little extra Christmas money. I like to hear that because I think all our parents like to hear that too. What about post-secondary and maybe at, a, at another another school, not just BCC, but are there other other colleges or two-year colleges that they can go and go a little further in the field? Oh, absolutely. Uh, BCC offers a two-year program and also Mercer County College offers... Uh, what type of programs? Uh, they have ornamental horticulture and they also have landscape design. BCC does offer some environmental uh, classes and actually I have a student that graduated last year, took two of my classes, and he is enrolled in BCC. So he's in a sustainable energy uh, program. So he's really, uh, he's also an FFA uh, member, an officer, and he came back for our Burlington County Board of Ag uh, meeting and dinner. I like hearing about that sustainable energy piece. Is that something that you think the program will get, be going towards? Absolutely. For environmental science, um, it's really a large component of uh, today's issues, problems, and concerns, especially with all the solar energy and reducing the energy costs. Um, but it is a fabulous field to enter into. Well, you're here with the superintendent, so are there anything that you need me, for me to help support you with in that, in that era? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> anything at the top I'm of your head? Oh, uh, well, of course, funding, absolutely. Um, some laptops would be fantastic, so the students could really do some uh, research. That would be amazing. Okay. Yes. All right, great. Well, Ms. Viveris, it was a pleasure uh, visiting your class. Well, thank you so much for coming I, in. And I, and, the, and I think you did a great job. I don't think people realize how difficult it is in these types of classes to go step by step on making something. Correct. And I'm definitely hard on the uptake of learning this, and you did a great job. <laughs> well, I felt you. that I I was adequate in making a reef. I think the final products turned out pretty good with your students. They were oh. very helpful. Oh, fantastic. They are great students. I love every minute of uh, it. I realized that. I noticed that there too myself. So I want to thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you for coming in. And have a happy holiday season. Yeah, same to you. All right. You I'm in Mr. Sharp's culinary arts class. How are you doing, Mr. Sharp? I'm good, Mr. Tronga. Uh, being new here, can you give me uh, an explanation or uh, what this program is all about? It's a uh, professional culinary arts program, a vocational program. We are charged with teaching students how to prepare for the workplace after school or even, you know, while they're working here. We provide students, usually their senior year, that work for food service, for example. Um, students get sanitation skills, hand skills, um, food safety skills, a lot of cooking, hands-on experience that uh, benefits them in the culinary field, in their lives, every day for the rest of their lives. Great. Tell me about the, the courses that are offered here. We have uh, Culinary 1 and Culinary 2. They have an intro to culinary program that gets accessible to them their freshman year with another instructor. Um, we get them their sophomore years on. Um, culinary 1 is food service sanitation, basic hand skills, uh, a lot of repetitive skills. Uh, learning how to work on a timetable and uh, get tasks done by a certain period of time while at the same time keeping the kitchen clean enough that if the health inspector walked in in the middle of the class, she would find nothing wrong. Gotcha, good. Tell me about what this class contributes to the district as a whole, some, some things that it does for the district. We um, do banquets for the district when, they're, when, when they have them. Um, the Borough Heart Challenge, for example, my students provide food for the five, 600 people that come in for that. Um, we do banquets during the school year for um, clubs, programs, um, food service for the um, medical arts program and uh, school to work program, stuff like that. Um, I look at it as an opportunity for my students because the more hands-on experience they get and real-world experiences, 
the better they're going to you know, perform and re be able to relate what I'm teaching them in the classroom. They can actually apply what they've learned. Yeah, like my, my experience just in this short time here, I saw that there's a responsibility to each shift or each block, what they have to do. But then also I look at where these kids are going to be going after Pemberton. Do you elaborate more about where they're going leaving here? Um, I prepare students in such a way that if they decide to go to a culinary school, they will not embarrass themselves the first year. Uh, for example, this year I have a student for the, my first one actually um, is at the culinary art Culinary Institute of America in Hyde Park, New York, um, a very prestigious school, number one in the in this in the country. Um, but we bring in opportunities for them to talk to um, other good schools. There's one in Atlanta County, for example, a couple in Philly. Um, students are getting into the culinary program. I have students now that their self-professed thing is that they want to go to culinary school, and can I get them ready? And that's what we do here. Great. Well, I've heard nothing but great things. It's very impressive. And again, I was even impressed of the, the discipline that's involved, like I said, in regards to what one person has to do in order for the next shift to produce whatever they're making. Oh, yeah. And that's a, that's a skill that isn't something that would be typify a high school uh, student with the responsibility that whatever your job is, is going to affect whatever the next block will have and what we're making. Teamwork. Teamwork is the key. Professionalism. Uh, being responsible. Things that you read about on, in social media that our kids don't have anymore. Well, that's not this, not the case here. Um, in fact, my, my last block um, did three or four things that more than I expected, and it was all, let's just work together and get this done, because Mr. Sharp needs this done for these guys here, for this, this class. So, um, a lot of praise when it's done right corrective when it needs to be fixed and you know these these guys work well together teamwork is a key here and it's important in life it says a lot about you well i want to thank you for inviting me in i was very impressed and i want to wish you a happy holiday well thank you kind sir you're same to you and your family right, everything thanks. needs right. to be the same size when you go to a bakery do you buy the cookie or do you buy the cookie for a dollar 25 which one do you want you want the bigger one so we want them all the same size all right. Right. Yep. That is that good enough a little more. A little more? This is your second year here at Pemberton Township. Uh, and tell me a little bit about this course. Well, it's fun. It's a lot of uh, hands-on experience. And uh, I, before I moved here, I went to Lacey Township, and my, my friends took the culinary course, and they said it was a lot of book work, not a lot of experience there, so it's a lot more fun here. Okay. Um, what do you plan on doing when you graduate from Pemberton Township? I plan on going into the Air Force, military. I want to be a physical therapist. Oh, okay, good. And what do you plan to get out of this course moving forward going into the, into the military? Well, I'm just, I'm just trying to learn how to cook because I want to have a family. Oh, good for you, good for you. Uh, so now, um, again, you, you talked about that in other schools. You, and so tell me a little bit more about like the difference in books and and then the application of it. Tell me a little bit more about that. Mm -hmm. Like with the, the book work, it tells you like, you need to add a certain amount of measurements and stuff, but sometimes you need to like eye some things, you know, some, you add more flavor to it. You can't really do that from learning from a book. You have to hands on, you know? Gotcha, gotcha. Well, Alex, I want to thank you for your time here. Uh, I, it looks really good. I, I can't wait to eat it next week. So uh, okay. thank you for your interview and happy holidays. Thank you. I like to learn new things, the f how to cook things. Um, I like I like eating the food, trying new things, just pretty much making it. Okay. What about your career? Is this something that you think you want to do as you graduate from high school and, and go further in, or? I've actually thought about it. It's caught my attention a lot. Okay. Uh, other classes that you've taken compared to this class, what's the difference? Um. I concentrate more, learn more things. I don't usually concentrate on other class in other classes. I like this class, so it like helps me learn new things. Good. And I see over here, we're cooking something. What what is that you're cooking? Fettuccine Alfredo. Wow, it smells really good. Thanks. Tell me what what the ingredients are. Um, we have garlic in it, heavy cream, and butter and then put the noodles in it, mix it all up, and it tastes good. You can add chicken to it, so. Yeah, so mm -hmm. is this something that you do often here, like you make different types of dishes? Yes. Okay, so who will eat this? Everyone. Everyone? Mm -hmm. When? As soon as it's done. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, I hope you're gonna share some for me. I will. All right. Um, 
So t tell me more about I'm new here. Is there any other courses and types like in culinary courses that you like here that being here? I kind of? this is actually my first culinary course. I have this is yeah, this is just my first one. Okay, good. Well, I'd like to say thank you for uh, inviting me into the kitchen, and I wish you a happy uh, holiday. I think you'll agree that there's a lot more going on at the high school than the typical courses one would expect. Thanks for joining us, and I'll see you next time for another edition of Inside Outlook.